What is up, everybody? Um, it is Spence. And it's 5 o'clock on... What is today? Thursday? It's probably important that we keep track of what day of the week it is. Um, I hope you all are doing wonderfully, or at least doing the best you can. Um, so, yesterday I felt kind of bad about um, letting down my friend... Uh, not putting her blanket on the stream, so, and it was on the stream before, um, but, uh, you know, I hadn't started it yet. Um, first things first, though, before we get started, I want to do this real quick. Why do I see my own chat rules? Okay, so, um... Hopefully this works. Maybe. There it goes. Okay, so um, my friend T-Monster, who is another streamer that I've known for years and years and years, um, he is uh, doing a um, fundraiser for uh, a group called uh, Lunchtime for, Get for Kids, which is an offshoot of No Kid Hungry. Um, Many kids rely on school lunches for food, and so they are coming up with uh, methods of distribution and to provide food security for families, especially children in need. Um, so T is hosting a fundraiser, and I figured I didn't need to duplicate efforts and start my own. So um, if you are watching this uh, here um, live, or if you are watching this um, on my YouTube channel, I will have... Uh, I will have it listed there as well. Um, but if you could, uh, if you have a few dollars to spare to um, help feed kids during this weird and uncertain time, it would be greatly appreciated because only when we all come together um, are we going to really have a sustainable society. Um, let me move that out of the frame. Uh, as you can tell, I am a little bit woozy. Well, not woozy, but tired. Um, didn't sleep well last night. Last night. That's okay. Um, what else am I gonna try out with this? Um, we're gonna try that out. I. Great. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So forgive me. I did a lot of work today on the Twitch page. Um, I spent time uh, working on making sure that there was a schedule and a countdown on uh, the Twitch stream, uh, like on my actual page. Um, I got my Instagram all hooked up, which by the way, you can also see over here. Um, this is the picture we posted today to lead up to today's stream. Um, it is very soft. It is velvet. It is lovely. Um, and this pat, this uh, project that we're doing is going to be a footy blanket. Now, it is inspired by... Let me switch the tab. Um, it is inspired by uh, this footsie blanket by Michael Selleck. And I've got the pattern in the chat. Um, so feel free to click on it. Um, now what I'm doing is slightly different because I am doing the whole blanket, uh, this alternating double crochet, single crochet pattern. Um, and then I'm going to sew the bottom together. Whereas, uh, his pattern starts, uh, from this bottom section. Um, but I tried to start it that way and it was really frustrating for me. So, um, I'm doing it my way. And as long as my friend likes it, that's all that matters. Right? Right. Um, so anyway, if you're here, go ahead and give a shout out in the chat or let me know you're here. If not, I'm just going to go ahead and crochet. Um, so we have a zero count on the, um, on the crochet counter. The reason for that is that um, 
Well, I figured, uh, I don't know how many rows I've done so far, but this is three feet high and five feet wide so far. I'm gonna be going for about five, five foot and then some um, for the length before I fold it together. Um, so yeah. So I will go ahead and do that. Great. You don't have to see my mouse. And we'll put we'll put cute little mallard right there to hang out with us. Um, I did work some more on the granny squares uh, last night. I guess I can show you that real quick. Um, so I got two of these done. Excuse me, Maynard. Um, I got two of them done. And uh, the color is off on this. Let's see. That's a little closer. So this is like a burnt red. Um, and then we've got a taupe. And then we've got this gold color. And the gold color starts here and fades out to this purple. Um, and I've started the next one, um, which is somewhere. Here it is. Started the next one, which is right here. And it's going to go out from this deep purple into um, the red that we started with here. Um, and then I'll have to start a new skein, but that's fine. It's pretty. But again, we're doing, we're doing the blanket today because, um, I did feel really bad about not showing the progress on the blanket on the stream. So that's what we're going to do. Um, oh, I have a little notepad to the side to make notes for myself when things come up. Like today I have to order cat litter because apparently there is none at the store. Thank goodness for pet specialty things like Chewy and stuff, right? Um, the other thing I did this morning was spend some time uh, watching some other makers channels and I've really been enjoying doing that. Um, I feel like being a part of that community, or being a part of this community, is really important. Um, and also, it's just nice to have other makers on my screen while I'm doing mundane things like putting away my laundry, which is what I was doing this morning. Um, and then I spent a lot of time, I, I did that for a couple hours, and then I researched um, more stuff for Twitch. Slowly but surely, I will make this channel look like how I want it to. But in the meantime, in the meantime, we will do this. Now you may hear my cat crying at me because I brought him inside. Wah wah. Um, brought him inside because, um, you know, I bring him inside around four o'clock. And... No sooner had I brought him inside than the delivery guy showed up with one of my roommate's packages. Or with a package for my roommate. So, that was, uh, that was kind of funny. Like, he would have needed to come inside anyway. Otherwise, he would have hopped in that del delivery guy's van, and then I wouldn't know where he was. Because he will do that. My, my cat Totoro will jump in people's vans. Let's see, was there anything cool in the news? So, um, one of my friends and, and partner um, has been posting daily bardic stuff. Um, they've been singing songs, and uh, today they put out a sonnet, and it just makes, it makes me so happy to see my friends really stepping up and doing creative stuff. Um, I got to spend some time with our friend T-Monster um, last night, well, with T-Monster, his family, and then a whole bunch of other people watching him make enchiladas. <laughs> it looked really good. I can never have them because of onions. Oh, 
For those of you who don't know, I'm allergic to onions. It is the bane of my existence because onions are delicious. It's not that I don't like them. It's that they want to kill me. Which is fine. Um, I do have some tea today. It is Moroccan mint tea. Um, and I should probably drink that before it gets cold. Mm. Tea is good for you. If you have water, go ahead and drink. That's a thing I should put on my night bot. I should put a, a drink water thing. I'll do that for tomorrow. It's like when we were in, well, when I was in the army, um, when we were in basic training, in order to get us to drink more water to stay hydrated, the drill sergeants would, at random intervals, sit, yell, drink water, and then we would all take a knee, get out our canteens, and yell back, drink water, swoosh, and then drink. Um, so, just trying to do that on this channel too, as you may have noticed. <sighs> Let's see. I did also spend some time looking up um, some suggestions that I got for patterns. Um, somebody suggested that I do a spider, like a little toy spider. Um, there is a reason for that. Um, and I'll get into that later. And then I was also browsing the various cat patterns, the little, little stuffed cat things. Um, just to see what was out there. So about the spiders. So, um, one of the things that I do on the regular is I do podcasts about, uh, role-playing games. I am on the Penny for a Tale, uh, channel here on Twitch. Um, and then I am the host of Game School, um, which is a TSR podcast, and so I do a lot of gaming. And so for my first episode of Game School, we had on um, Jeff Talanian, um, who writes the Hyperborean uh, saga, um, which is an extension of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, not really. No. I'm explaining it badly. But the game is fun. And... Um, so it was the first ever game that we played on Game School at, with me as ho as one of the hosts. And um, there was a giant spider. And the giant spider that, that came crashing out uh, had a saddle on it. And it was also, uh, it also had two gnolls um, that were angry and wanted to fight me. So with some really dumb luck and a great charisma role um i was able to mount the spider and get the spider to be my steed and from then on was called the spider queen now fun story before that happened i had just moved up to new hampshire um, and my roommate had noticed an influx of spiders ever since i had moved in and so he was calling me the spider queen so, um, the Spider Queen legend lives on. Um, now on Penny for a Tail, they call me the Spider Queen. And, um, I even have my own emoji, but it doesn't show up very well because I have the Twitch dark theme on. But it's super cute. Um, I'll have to show you guys sometime. Um, so yeah. It's, uh, so I did look up a little spider and there, there is one that's really cute, um, that I may have to try, um, but I don't want to do any more stuff things for a little bit because I will have nowhere to put them. I think after the next few big projects, I may start doing some cooking for the homeless donations, um, you know, cause it's March and we still have snow. <laughs> uh, we got snowed on this past weekend and then, 
um, you know, and so it's been like 50 degrees during the day, and then at night it cools down and it starts raining. So I don't know if you all can tell just by looking at this, but this is super soft and plushy. Um, this is great for a chilly day for, um, uh, for crochet because you just, you can just put it over your lap. And it will, and it will keep your lap warm while you're working on it. As always, all of the music that I am playing is, um, is provided royalty free by Kevin McLeod at incompetech.com. And, you know, I'm probably just going to keep it up until people show up and talk. Although I'm very grateful for, uh, for the people that are that have been following me, that have been joining me whenever they can. Um, I realize I'm doing this, you know, either right in the middle of people's work day or just after people get out of work. Um, so yeah. But it's always it's always nice to see when people are here. Yesterday was awesome because there were just so many people on. And last night I did end up having some some time where I didn't feel like crocheting, I didn't feel like watching anything, so I booted up Mass Effect and started playing that again. It's been a while since I played the first one, and this is the first time I'm playing it on PC instead of on a console. Um, so the, the controls are a little different, and for some reason my mouse has been wonky of late. So I may have to get a new mouse, or I just may need to replace the batteries, one of the two. We'll find out. But it is kind of crappy in the middle of combat when uh, all of a sudden your, uh, your mouse stops working. <laughs> And one thing that I'm not really going to talk about so much anymore is about the state of things. I think there are enough channels that are that are talking about it. If you want to talk about it and you put it in the chat, sure, why not? But, um, you know, this is kind of a place, I want to make this space a space where we can relax. We can talk about fun things. I loved that today, um on one of the one of the channels um i think it was girl november um i was watching this morning and we all started having a conversation about tarot cards and i went my people you are here <laughs> um and that was just a, a lovely uh a lovely discussion um talking about different decks and um the artwork and what you feel connected to kind of like we were talking about here yesterday um i started looking at my dragon deck uh last night and the i think you have to be a certain kind of person to really get in the head of the dragon um i love the row counter uh because the dragon's expressions are very, um, very different than human, uh, um, very different than human expressions. 
and human body posture. So like the chariot in one looks very different in the Rider weight deck or in the herbal deck that I have look very different in the dragon deck. Um, and so I interpret different meaning from it. So I don't know. I had to play with it some more, see what kind of uh, kind of feeling I get. So yeah, uh, slowly but surely, all of this, all of this is coming together in a format that I like. I will slowly but surely be making it cleaner and prettier. Um, I want to figure out the widgets where, like, if somebody new follows um, the stream that I get a little pop-up. Um but I haven't figured that out yet. That's that's something that I'm going to research early next week, I think. Oh, wait, I can't research that early next week because I have paid work. I do like it when paid work comes in. Um, one of the things I did add to the channel, so if you're watching this on YouTube, if you come over to the Twitch page and, uh, if there's a pattern that you want to see me do, um, you can always put it in the, um, su suggestion box if there's anything that you think I could be doing better, um, with regards to the stream, that would be great too. Um. I'm only doing free patterns on the channel. Um, the reason being is that I want to make sure I'm doing something that everybody would be able to um, to see and to do because this is a hook along. So um, I want I want to be able to share this with you all. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, jelly beans. So like I said, the goal with this blanket is to get it to be at least five by five. I'd like to get it a little bit longer um, before I um, yeah, that is my single um, before I close it up, close up the bottom and, and do the borders. So the reason I'm going back and forth between a single crochet and a double crochet, I just like the way the inter interlock pattern looks and feels. It's a lot tighter. Um, where my friend has a dog, I don't really want the dog's um, claws getting stuck in this. And um, so that will make it less likely. 
that the dog will get stuck because her dog Hope is so sweet and so rambunctious. <laughs> That is my one, that, that is the one beautiful and slightly um, frustrating thing about pit bulls, in my opinion, is that they are so excited and they don't realize their size. Um, I had a roommate who had a pit bull, a blue nose pit bull, and um, this dog was so sweet, the sweetest love bug. Um, but had no awareness of her tail or her backside. And so she would just sit there, be happy as can be uh, having somebody pet her. And if you're standing behind and that tail is hitting you, whack, 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 whack. My shins ended up uh, bruised more often than not because excited dog was excited. <laughs> Sometimes we just need to remember to take a couple of deep breaths. I have to remind myself that of that a few times a day. Just, again, really focusing on the meditative practice of creating things. Especially creative things. Creating things with your hands. Let me see if I can angle the camera just a little bit that way. Well, too much, too much, too much me. <laughs> there. There. No, nope, you stay, you stay, stay right there. Great. So what have you all been watching or doing? I have a list of Disney movies that I want to watch. Um, has anybody watched the Descendants movies? I'm highly intrigued by them, but I have not had the inspiration to watch them yet like I've been distracted by all the all the old movies that um, I've I watched growing up that are all available now like I watched the Re the rescuers the other day before I went to bed Hmm. And there are other ones that have been on my watch list forever, like Dr. Marston and the, and the Wonder Woman. Um, and the, To All the Boys I've Ever Loved, and a few others. They're just, I, I've had them on my watch list for years and just have never gotten around to them. I probably should, but I spend a lot of my time after this, after the stream, doing audio stuff, um, either editing audio, QCing audio, or um, recording audio. Surprising no one. Oh. Forgot to move Mallard back into the, or the Maynard back into the screen. There we go. You can sit there. Keep track of my rows. I would put Piper on, but Piper has to be sitting on something. And it just wouldn't look good. Oh, 
So I think since we're pretty quiet in the chat, I'm going to turn up the music a little bit. And if you all want to say hi, if you want to um, chat with me, um, you know, just say hello in the chat. Um, otherwise, we're just going to listen to this nice, relaxing, meditative music. Alrighty. Row two. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh.
So the reason why it's taken me so long to get this blanket to where it is, because I started this blanket, gosh, I think in October or November. Um, yeah, it had to be October. Um, I ended up getting an injury. Um, my rotator cuff uh, started really hurting and it became very painful to crochet. Um, so what I ended up doing um, was trying out a couple of different lays and I restarted this project um, several different times in several different ways. For a while I was doing it on a um, rake peg loom. Um, but like even that was still unwieldy with my shoulders being um, being very unhappy with me. Um, so I've had to stop and restart and then for a long time I couldn't I didn't have the the strength to um, to work on this pattern. Um, I could only work on short patterns. So now that I've been doing physical therapy at home for a few months and working on strengthening my rotator cuff, strengthening my shoulders and my neck and my back, um, I'm able to do two hours plus uh, crochet per day. People think I'm nuts, but I am very antsy. If I don't have something in my hands, I um, don't like it at all, one bit. Um, and my roommate is that way too. And so he sharpens knives while he's sitting and watching stuff and I do crochet. Um, and then my other roommate um, does woodwork woodworking or cooking. So those are, cause we're all, we're all active people and we need to be doing things. Um, you know, I, I do get back into gaming on and off. Um, and part of me gets really excited about it. Part of me gets really frustrated by it. Um, so it's just a matter of figuring out what I'm feeling that day. <laughs> I will say that doing this pattern and just listening to music as opposed to watching a video, um, I'm able to concentrate more um, because I'm going back and forth between two different types of stitches. Sometimes I'll forget what kind of stitch I just did. And that's unfortunate. I've had times where I'd get to the end and I would not be on the correct stitches and I'd get so frustrated that I'd just take out that entire row of what I was working on. Excuse me, real quick. I don't normally get text messages, so this is weird. regarding my travel plans I was supposed to go down to see my mom in April for a surgery and um, she is working with her doctors to get her surgery rescheduled and to um, reschedule flight dates so so there's that which is good because um, as the as the date of the travel was getting closer, I was 
getting a little anxious. So now I can finally put my suitcase away. It was getting to the point where once a month I was leaving to go somewhere. And so basically I just left my suitcase out. But now I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> So, was it sunny where you were today? Were you able to get out in the sun? I did spend some time outside earlier today. I mean, it was to crush cans for the recyclables, but um, I made it outside. And then I just stood out there for a while and uh, just hung out. Drink your water. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make that a a prompt. Now, one of the things that um people are talking about is cleaning your your devices that you use all the time, your phone, your keyboard, etc. So what I've been doing is just been using hand sanitizer. I've been putting it on um, on a tissue or something and uh, thoroughly going over my keyboard and my um, uh, and my phone at least a couple times a day because I'm the one that I, I tend to go out more for the necessities than my roommates do. Um, so what do you guys do to do to clean those things? I would be interested to know. And so if you are watching this channel or you're watching this on on a delay, um, you know, I am slowly but surely meeting more people in the makers and crafters community. And I will be following, um, following people and, you know, participating in chats because I like social interaction and I like, I like making new friends. So if you're finding me after the fact, hi, welcome. I hope you like it here. It's like that song from Annie. We think you're going to like it here. Yeah, that.
There we go. Did I do that right? Yes, I did. See, I question myself sometimes. And it's okay. It's okay to go back and check your work. You know why? Because everybody goes back to check their work. I mean, that's my main form of income is checking people's work. I check, I uh, do quality control on audiobooks course right now I'm a little frustrated with myself because I messed up on a job pretty significantly and that sucks because I want to do right by my clients and if I miss things that means that for some reason there were points where I wasn't paying attention And that disappoints me. So the only thing I can really do is dust off my shoes and pick myself back up and make sure that I'm more vigilant next time around. And it's something about this time of year, because it's consistently been around this time of year that I make a lot of mistakes, and I'm not sure why. But here's hoping that I will be able to get my head straight, get back on my horse, and keep riding. So, third row, and it's taken us about 50 minutes to get here. So now I'm going to I'm going to look at my timer and wait till it gets to the next minute marker. So it's going to be minute 52 for me. And I want to see how long it takes me to do a row. I'm not going to speed speed crochet or whatever I'm just gonna just gonna keep going like my average stitching in the meantime while we're waiting for the timer here's Piper boop, 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 boop. I know we're all going a little stir crazy all right 10 seconds drink some water two one here we go Kick Maynard out of the way. <laughs> Sorry, Maynard. Come back here. You sit right there. You're fine. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I was crocheting the blanket on one of my Twitch streams. And someone was like, can we just take a minute to recognize that Spence just spent 20 minutes 
crocheting a single row on whatever they're working on. And I was flabbergasted. I did not think it took me 20 minutes, but I was also role playing. So I probably stopped several times in between to like pay attention to the scene and make sure that, well, and to be involved in the scene. I do pay attention. I just also need my figures to be moving because otherwise I get antsy and then the antsiness distracts me and I get distracted by, am I entertaining enough? Um, am I, am I concentrating on the story enough? How do I bring this other person into the gameplay rather than letting it be a natural thing? Um, these are all just random thoughts that go through my head. When I'm uh, when I'm role playing, I have one game that I play. It's called Age. It's uh, it's called Age Past, and um, I play a sentient rose creature, and it's kind of great because I have. Um, turned several children into my acolytes and they all believe I'm a god and I'm like all right <laughs> sweet and then uh one of the results of that is that these children now have uh extensions of my abilities <laughs> and uh, it's terrifying absolutely terrifying but it's also great. Nope, I'm going to resist the call of my phone while I finish this row or work on this row. I don't think I'm halfway done with this row. That's how long it is.
And I know today is a pretty quiet day in the chat. I think part of it may be that people are just working. I think part of it may be where I'm at. Um, they've announced that the, um, the state that I live in is going to do a shelter in place order. Um, uh, starting Friday night. So tomorrow night. So no doubt people are panicking. Unfortunately, I do have to go out again tomorrow. However, it's not terrible. Not terrible. I have one delivery to make and I have, um, actually I have two deliveries to make. One is an actual crochet thing and one is something that I promised for a friend of mine. But then I'll be back. And at five o'clock, well, maybe a little after five tomorrow, um, I will be, um, I will be on here again with all of you. And I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind on some days when, uh, when it's quiet. This actually works out quite well for me. Um, since I'm going to be recording right after the stream, <laughs> um, for my other podcast. So this provides a, a little bit of a rest for my voice. But I've also been better about drinking tea before I stream and making sure I have a bottle of water um, next to me while I stream. Okay, getting close. All right, so that is 11 minutes and 22 seconds is how long that took. So now we know, knowing is half the battle. That's what G.I. Joe said. And so go ahead and add a row. So in about two hours, I can get eight rows done. I'll measure this again at the end of the stream just to see how much it's grown. So it started at 36 inches um, in height or length, whatever. 
Um, so, is that my chain one? So we'll measure it and see how much, um, how much growth it has had. Now, one of the things I am going to try to start doing soon is, um, well, if I try to start doing soon is I'm going to try, I'm going to see how much noise it makes. Um, I will be working on my plastic bag, reusable grocery bag, even though we're not allowed to use them currently in my state, which is bizarre. My step along. Oh. Apparently I was stepping on a paintbrush that I did not know was down beneath my feet. That was weird. All right, bear with me one, one second, folks. I know my roommates will be home soon. Well, yeah, and uh, I did not have my door closed. I think after this, I'm going to have to take a break from crocheting tonight, even though I generally crochet a lot. Um, like you think doing two hours, or some people think doing two hours is a lot, but um, for me it's not. Cumulatively, cumula cumulatively, there we go. Um, I usually crochet between six and eight hours a day if I don't have anything else going on. And, you know, while I do put things up for sale a lot of it is just for me and sometimes I start a project and it looks real good but then I take it apart because I uh, for whatever reason I didn't think the project was panning out the way I wanted it to now one of the things with this blanket that is um, a little, I, I don't want to say frustrating. Hey Shane, um, it's not frustrating, it's just like not very interesting, um, is that there's no diversity in color. So, um, I see people doing afghans with scrap, um, yarn, and so you get to see all the different colors being built in there. And this one is all one color. However, sometimes just watching the motion is what people want to see. And I'll be able to show progress at the end of the stream just to be like, hey, this is how much we got done. So Shane, how are things going over over where you're at? We should try to talk on uh, Saturday and see about podcasting or something if you're free. Uh, 
Um, so we've got Maynard right here. And today we are working on a, a blanket for my friend Kim. Um, she was asking about it yesterday. And so I felt kind of bad that I hadn't been streaming the blanket. So um, that's what I decided to do today. I will say that the velvet yarn, while it is delightful to work with, like it's so soft. Um, it does require a lot more tension because it's so slippery. And I think that's why my shoulders get angry <laughs> with it. Let's see here. Okay. Was it crazy down at the supermarket or, um, was it mostly normal? I'm a little afraid to ask. Um, so eventually this blanket will, um, end up looking like, wrong page. That's the Instagram photo we did today. This page will end up looking something like this. Um, obviously not these colors. It's going to be in this really pretty, um, smoke blue. Um, and then this, uh, line here is um what is the name of that one where'd you go there you are so the edging is going to be it's called spruce the name of it is spruce um so this is the bernet bernat bernet um crushed velvet it's very soft. Oh, that's, they're probably going to be doing something similar here, um, in the near future. So, um, yeah. So I'm doing my version of this pattern, uh, the, the footsie blanket. Um, and by my version, I mean, I am going to make it look the same, but I'm not going about the construction the same way. And if you are interested, <laughs> I'm so excited to get my bot working for me and like all this other stuff. Like yesterday, as we all know, I was super stoked about my row counter. I'm still super soaked about, super stoked about my row counter. Um, but now I spent a good couple of hours today working on my night bot, working on, um, uh, working on the channel page itself, um, putting my schedule up there, getting it linked up to my Instagram, etc., etc. Um, hey nerd, are you drunk? keeps falling down <laughs> um yeah learning more about um about how to make twitch work the way i want it to work for me um because i want it to be pretty I did have half a mind to do, um, a, a, a mask, and I might still do that. Me nerd. Stop being so fresh. Um, uh, 
I may set things up so that I, I do it on my sewing machine because I've got a lot of, um, I have several t-shirts that I can cut up. Um, I probably have a lot of fabric, um, that I can cut up. If not, I can order some quilting squares and buy a tape and make masks. Um, however, <laughs> there would not be a lot of talking because sewing machines are loud. And I don't feel like hand sewing. Who knows? Maybe we'll do that. I'll have to look up the pattern and do a couple of test runs. I know a couple of my friends are answering the call for uh, personal protective equipment. And so, like, my, my cohort Val, who is the other half of Fibromancers for Hire and Weird Creations, um, is hand sewing them because um, she breaks technology, <laughs> including... Um, uh, including, including sewing machines. So she's hand stitching all of her stuff, but her hand stitching is lovely. Maynard, come on now. Pull, pull yourself together. Um, so she's doing that. Yeah, I may, I may get on board. I'd have to find all my fabric. Um, and part of the whole thing this weekend with organizing my yarn was so that I would start using my yarn. But, you know, maybe what I can do is make a whole bunch of little Maynards and other little toys, sanitize them, and, uh, and send them off to children's wards or what have you. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, and I'm just going to take a quick second to check a couple things, so please bear with me one moment. Okie dokie. I just want to see how many people are actually watching live. Oh, okay. That's a-okay. Like I said, I'm doing recording later, so probably should be giving my voice a rest. Um, but yeah, I think that might be a project for next week once I find all my fabric that I have and uh, figure out what I've got to um, uh, to make masks. And maybe we'll do that next week and see how many masks I can make. And then I'll reach out to Exeter Hospital, figure out if they, um, how they're doing donations. Well, that should be the first thing I do. So yeah, we'll do that first.
So something I'd like to learn is how people um, do the whole like Spotify thing on their on their channel if they have to pay fees and all that good stuff. Um, I love my royalty free stuff. It's nice and relaxing. But you know, sometimes you want something a little more with a little more oomph in it. I should probably point out that um, my friend T. Morris, um, who is on the channel T. Monster on Twitch, um, he is raising money for um, lunchtime for kids. Basically looking to uh, raise money to provide food security um, for families, especially children in need, especially during this time when school lunches are not available, um, for most, uh, kids who use them on a regular basis. And so if you are able and willing, um, you can help him out. Basically, I didn't want to, um, duplicate effort. So I figure why not link to his charity page and uh, go from there because that's what we do right we help people so I'm still I'm still thinking about what to do tomorrow whether I want to go back to the granny squares or if I want to continue working on this blanket um, but I think once we get to the end of the stream and I see how much growth we've done on this uh, uh, project today after doing this for two hours and doing we'll probably get to seven rows by the time we're done um, you know how how big it is and then we'll see oops That time I was not doing it right. There we go. Here, Maynard, you watch the row counter. There you go. Now you should be safe from any stray fingers. Well, that's interesting. I didn't notice that before. 
um, if I'm looking at the uh, row before that I'm crocheting into, all of the double crochets, the stitch is slightly bigger than the single crochets. Another visual cue to remind me where I'm at, what I'm going into alternatively. Because in the single crochets, you're supposed to do a double crochet, and then in double crochets, you do a single crochet so that the pattern goes back and forth. It's pretty cool. So yeah, nice quiet stream today. And I think tomorrow is going to be about getting ready for the weekend, getting ready for um getting ready for all the games I have on Sunday. <laughs> um and the game that I'm gonna write on Saturday. Alright, so I'm gonna give you all a sneak peek as far as what I'm doing with game school. So um Total Con was the last convention that I was able to attend before the outbreak. Um really started hitting home and me and my co-host and our producer sat down and we were like okay everybody's super busy with new game stuff but Spence is able to still record and still edit and stuff so what can we do as a format that Spence can do by themselves and uh, so my favorite thing in the world with regards to role-playing games is one page role-playing games um, partially because I am lazy <laughs> uh, partially because I um, I really enjoy games that are very easy to understand very easy to just pick up and play um, you don't have to do a lot of prep work for it you don't have to do um, you don't have to do a lot of reading to create your character, um, and you can randomize the scenarios, and it can get so weird so fast. Um, so, and this is like in the vein of, um, The Witch is Dead, or Lasers and Feelings, or, um... Uh, what's the one that I'm going to run next week? Uh, Sexy Wizard Battle. And I, I just, I adore them. So I thought, huh, well, I know a lot of game masters now. I know a fair number of, uh, of game creators. Maybe we can do a collaboration and make a one-page RPG. And... Okay, I can't take credit for the idea. My co-host, um, James Carpio, came up with it. And it's freaking genius. So. Um, so, yeah. Um, I have recorded two episodes so far. I have two more 
um, planned. I have to get started with editing and editing them and then formatting what we're writing down. Um, but it's coming along and I like it a lot. Um, we've come up with some really funny games so far. I don't know what we're going to come up with tonight when I record, but, um, it, it'll be interesting. That's for sure. Um, and then I think I have one more in the wings, uh, maybe two or three, uh, but these are people who are not available until May, which is fine because I'll have five in the can by the time I record those so we can start releasing them on a monthly basis just until the game is out. And then I can get my co-host back and then we can start interviewing people again. <laughs> Although I don't know. Maybe people will like this this uh, workshop that we're doing. Who knows? I think one of the things that I will be looking to do in the near future for the stream is to get back to some cosplay pieces, um, to working on cosplay pieces. Unfortunately, a couple of the cosplay pieces that I want to do are, like this blanket, very boring. <laughs> um, one of them, if you watch any anime... Alright Shane, well, thanks for being here. Um, if you like anime and you watch My Hero Academia, um, you'll know that Eraserhead, Aizawa, has the best scarf in the world. And also, he is my mood, um, 90% of the time. He just wants to sleep. So, I want to make his scarf and make some articulated appendages of the scarf, um, Yeah, and uh, so there's that. I also have dreams for an Ursula uh, cosplay, Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Um, I say that because I realize that I have another character uh, named Ursula that I enjoy that I wouldn't mind cosplaying, um, and she's Ursula from uh, Little Witch Academia. Um, but anyway, um, Ursula from the little mermaid, I want to create a, um, one of those mesh shirts, you know, the ones that we used to wear in the nineties with a very colorful bra underneath it, something like that. Um, so I do that in purple and then I want to make a bunch of tentacles that I can, um, wear uh, either as a neck piece like um, you know how uh, they used to have like those fringes around somebody's head so imagine imagine that Maynard has like a big collar like that um, kind of like that uh, that is inspired from um, I watched The Little Mermaid live and uh, the costuming that they did for Queen Latifah, they not only had tentacles on her skirt, but they had tentacles coming off of her collar. And I really enjoyed that. So um, thinking that that might be something I do. And then also look for a flotsam and jetsam pattern and make flotsam and jetsam that I can attach. Because I was also thinking that I would just attach flotsam and jetsam to my arms. Um, so that might be a thing that, that will be a definite research and development time for, for me. And there will be a lot of trial and error there.
Okay, we are, we have finished. Oops, row six. There we go. Alrighty. Um, so yeah. It's so pretty. It's so soft. So yeah, those are the cosplay projects I want to do. Oh, we flip this over. All right. Y'all know what time it is? It's time to drink some water. And my tea is gone, so now I will actually drink water. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, I have a lot of projects in the works. Um... Some of the bigger projects are just for me. Others, like this one, are for other people. So I should really make sure that I'm working on them. Alrighty, let's see. Is there anything else that we can talk about? I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that as I get to know people in the community and I start um, making friends that we'll have more people on and we'll have more conversations. But for now, it's just nice to hang out crochet a little, listen to some nice music.
Oh, we have a Totoro in the room. And risking throwing everything off. I, I do want you all to see my cat. Hi, buddy. Totoro. There he is. Isn't he so sweet? Okay. Now that I've broken everything, let me unbreak the world again. There we go. Ooh. Almost. Almost, right? Sure, that'll do. That'll do. My cat is cute. He's also a pain in the butt, but he's super cute. Well, we've made a significant dent in uh, this um, in this skein of yarn. Which is good and unsurprising.
only real reason that I ever roll up balls of yarn like this um, is so that I can really track how much I've done with it. Um, a lot of the time I prefer to have my yarn in cakes like this. Ooh, that's bright. Um, but you get what I mean. And pulling from the center. Um, yeah. Sorry, I got the loose end all tangled up and then I couldn't put it back in the bag that I had it in. I have a, a bag of active projects that I am that I work out of. Alrighty, where are we at now? We are at throwing balls of yarn at myself. <laughs> Alrighty. So we are getting close to the end of the stream. I'm going to turn down the music just a scotch because it should be a little bit softer than my talking. go. So we are getting down to it. The end of this row. To the end of row seven for today. So now let's see if I can measure how wide this is now. Excuse me, Maynard. Can you go there? There we go. I'll grab my tape measure. There we go. foot trying not to pull on it two feet
Um, maybe I was pulling on it before. Because I thought I was at three feet when I started this. Okay, so we're at 40 inches if I stretch it. Um, so that added four inches to the length. So it's gonna be a while until I get to the length that I want. But we're getting there, slowly but surely. So I think just for the purposes of making sure that this goes for two hours because I like to be consistent I'm gonna do a little bit of work on the granny squares that I was doing yesterday put that away scooch the blanket over all right here is the granny square where did my hook go? There you are. Alright, so for the granny square, we are on row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, there we go. Alright, Maynard, go watch the row again. We'll work on this until the end of the stream. And the reason why the lighting is so weird in here is because of my walls. Um, I have red painted walls in here, so it throws all of the color off. Which is fine. I know what this really looks like. I'm sure I could white balance my uh, camera. Um, I just haven't figured out how to do that yet. It's all a learning process. Yarn got stuck. Hold on. There we go. It's better. And so with these, we go for 15 rows, but I don't think I'm going to get to row 15. I'll be lucky if I get one row. Oh, well, no. I'll get one row done totally.
And then we have one more tiny song that's going to put some pep in our step. Get us ready for the rest of the evening. Put us in a nice, cheerful mood. All right, friends, fans, and loves. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this on today's episode of Huck Along Crocheting with Me, Spence. Um, yeah, I am Spence. And you can uh, find me on Instagram at there. Instagram, crochet cos crochet underscore under that ah, wow words. Uh, crochet underscore cosplay on Instagram. You can check out mine and my friend Val's site, fibermancersforhire.com. Uh, we're also on Facebook uh, as Weird Creations. Basically, we are Weird Creations, and at Weird Creations, we are Fibermancers for Hire. Um, this year, uh, I do post these on YouTube uh, about an hour after they uh, we end the stream. And I will be on tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, same as I was today, though I may be a little bit late. So, but I'll still be here. And we will either, I'm not sure what we'll do tomorrow, but we'll figure it out. And I will let you know. Um, until then, uh, stay healthy, stay positive, and keep creating. We'll talk to you soon.